ladies and gentlemen, what is up? My name is JBHCJ100 here, and I'm here to do a review on my replica intercon. Actually, sorry, not replica. Commemorative intercontinental WWE championship. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I did not do an unboxing for this. I was just such an eager beaver. <laughs> um, but. It wasn't really anything special. It didn't come in a case. It was just wrapped in bubble wrap in a package. Um, I didn't really have any reaction. I was just like, oh my god, I love this belt. But, let's get on to the details. Okay. First of all, the strap. It is large. The strap is really large. I'm not just saying that. It's large. Um, when I have this snapped, I have to have this button, these two buttons, snapped to these two buttons if I want to turn like I button it myself so I button it on my stomach so that's how it is if I turn it but if I could fit into this one um so yeah I can fit into that one and yeah um but yeah so if you're a kid get a kid replica belt instead of a commemorative because commemorative is only one size which is very large so let's get on the, sh the actual strap. Um, this is this strap is made of simulated leather. Um, it is not. It doesn't act like the ones do on TV because the ones on TV they're actual leather. Uh, the simulated leather. Um, it is not very floppy, as you could tell. Um, but they did put some good detail onto this. For example, these W's. Um, put it going up into this one, which is right before the center plate. And on all four sides. Alright, let's get on to the back of the belt. Um, it's done on this side. Has five, five buttons here. Five buttons here. These are the ones that get inserted... In, no, these are the ones that get things inserted into them. Um, this is a very nice, clean back. Um, you got these plastic things that put on that uh, hold the plates on, um, which is expected because these plates are plastic. Get into that later. But um, in the middle of the center, you have this whole thing, you know. WWE products, and they have this little reflective sticker. Um, over there, and then over here, you have eight buttons and eight buttons. These are ones that get inserted into other uh, into those into those buttons. Um, like I said, it's a really nice back. Um, they don't have this like dense pattern on the back here, but it is a really nice, um, really smooth, uh, back. So, yeah, alright. Um, back to the front. There's something really special. These are the dimensions of the belt used on TV. That's about it. These are really good quality buttons, as I'll show you in a little bit. But, yeah. Okay, so like I said, the simulated leather... Not as floppy as only used on TV, but let's get on to the plates. These plates, they're plastic. They're not metal. That's why it's commemorative version. Um, so yeah, if you think they're metal, and you think it's just cheaper because of the strap, um, so you're going to get a commemorative, these are plastic. Sorry, these are plastic. Um, that is why it's commemorative. That's why it's cheaper. Um... So let's get on to the detail of the plates. Um, they're really shiny, as you can see. I'm recording with my iPad. Hello. Um, but anyway, um, really detailed, really shiny. Um, this plastic is tougher than um, the plastic they have on like the thirty or forty dollar belts. Um, so yeah, it's shiny. It's shinier than the ones that they have on the thirty and forty dollar belts, also. Um, so it's shinier, it's tougher. The paint sticks on better. So like, 
um, you know, if you drop it, the paint won't chip off. But, um, let's read what it says. It says, Antarctica, North America, South America, Europe and Africa, and Asia and Australia. Um, so yeah, they're really good. Um, really strong plastic, um, plates. Let's get on to the middle plate. I didn't find any, like, mistakes, like, blue paint splattered anywhere on this belt, which is good, because usually in commemorative belts, um, they do, they do have, like, paint splattered somewhere, I don't know, on the belt, but the middle plate is large, it's bigger than my head both this way and that way, um, these three little diamonds here, um, they stay on pretty well, like, I've dropped this one or two times, and they've stayed on, uh, same over here, you got World Wrestling Entertainment, and Intercontinental Champion. Um, now, this nameplate is removable and changeable. There are only two metal, sorry, metal screws. And these are for the nameplate, so you can, um, if you buy different nameplates, you could change them. Um, overall, this is a really good belt, and, um, yeah, I know, these are expensive, trust me, I know, um, I almost did not buy this because of the, uh, money, but once I got it, I was super excited, um, I've not been in a different room from it, um, for more than an hour, actually, but, um, so yeah, it's a really nice belt. It's a lot better than the thirty or forty dollar cheap ones. Um, a real big difference is this is a lot larger than the thirty or forty dollar ones. And also, um, for the thirty or forty dollar ones, you know, if say I bought this in thirty or forty dollar version, it would only have this plate and this plate on each side. So it'd have this plate, this plate, and this plate, and these plate two plates wouldn't be here. And then the strap would obviously be really, really, really floppy, like it's thin too. But, as you can see, this is a pretty thick strap. Uh, it has pretty thick plates, as you can see. But, um, yeah, guys, um, just get up real quick. WWE logo right in the middle. I ordered this from AJ's uh, ReplicaBelts.com. Um, I would give it a rating for, um, sorry, for delivery and all that stuff, the stuff like quality. I would give it a 7, just because it took long to get here. Um, and also, when it came, it wasn't in a case. So, like, I don't know if you could see, but there's, like, smudges. There were, like, smudges, and then also, when I took off the bubble wrap, there was still, like, a piece of bubble wrap stuff there, so I had to peel that off. Um, but overall, guys, this did not get damaged, um, in delivery. Oh, wait, actually, there is one little tiny mark. Um, let me just find it. It's really hard to find, so it doesn't really matter to me. Well, I can't find it, so it doesn't really matter to me. But, um, it's so small, it doesn't really matter. But, um, yeah, let me just show you the strength of the buttons. Let me just put you down. So this is just two buttons and it feels really secure. Like I'm shaking it all around and it's not even coming loose at all. But um, yeah. So guys, there is my replica belt, I'm not sorry, commemorative belt, um, review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next. Oh, wait, sorry. Guys, I forgot. Um, VCW. Coming soon, I promise, is what we were waiting for. This is going to be the VCW Championship. I know you're going to be like, but it's the Intercontinental Championship. And, um, I know. I thought this through that, um, if we have. All of the same championships as WWE is going to feel too much like WWE because, especially since VCW is real and uh, WWE is fake. 
But, um, so yeah, guys. Come soon, I promise. Ladder match. Maverick versus Eric Stryker. It's going to be awesome, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.